Welcome back everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the crypto little altcoin season we had the last few weeks, few days, because I think it's over. Uh, crypto is looking pretty weak at the moment. I know you're thinking, what the hell, we've been up for a while. But this is exactly what the whales want to do. The ETH merge is coming up very soon. ETH has been pumping, but now it's time to sell to the noobs who are buying now based on the hype and for all of the altcoins to start being sold off to those noobs who are gonna buy ETH along with other altcoins and it's time to get a little bit of a test to those lower levels. Let's have a look at the charts and I will show you what I am seeing. So we'll start off with Bitcoin and then we'll make our way to ETH and USDT. So if we have a look at BTC, we had our breakout on the 27th of July, really good strong volume. This shows strength guys. Look at the volume at the bottom. You can see above average volume, huge spread. And of course the next day we get even higher volume, but a lower spread. So Bitcoin went up 8% with lower volume than on the 28th of July which had a spread of about 4%. So we had uh, more volume, but less of a spread between the open and the close. Then we start to really struggle. Um, volumes not coming into the market 30th of July with an up thrust on the way up. So that's that will call the high for this cycle at 24 and a half K before ultimately coming back down. The only good news that, that was on the way down, we weren't actually getting that much volume. That was the only hope, hope I had was if you have a look at the 31st of July, pay attention to the bars down below. If they're the, below the white line, that's a 30 day moving average. That's a good sign. So 31st, you can see below average, uh, down again on low volume, 1st of August, down bar again, 2nd of August, below volume. So you're seeing these have low volume, which is good. Then we have a big day on the 5th of August with a bit of a breakout. Uh, we're touching the average volume, which looks relatively okay. And then we get a bit of a, you know, inside bar. I'll call it a down one because the price actually went down on low volume, which is okay. But then we have another up bar, which just doesn't really show much. And then we basically get our confirmation on the 8th of August, where we have a volume touching the 30 day moving average again, but closing relatively mid on the bar and we're headed our way down. That is Bitcoin. If we have a look at ETH, it's actually a little bit more obvious that we're gonna go down. So let's have a look at ETH. If we have a look at ETH, you can see, again, very similar to Bitcoin, we had going down on low volume, right? Between the 29th and the 4th of August, we had low volume on the way down. Then we had our breakout up, but look at the volume on ETH. On the 5th of August, we had a low open, a high close, which sounds really good, but if you have a look at the volume on the 5th of August, it was low. So we went up on low volume. That only means one thing generally, and that means the whales are selling to the retail hands because retail will always show up on up days on low volume, which is exactly what's happening that day, which means that they were able to sell on every single order. Then you get another slightly up bar again. So that price actually tried to move up in the day before closing low on the bar on low volume, which means no one's pushing this price back up. The next day you get a bit of a down bar on low volume, which is relatively good. Spread is mid on the bar. But then again, we have the next day going up this time closing relatively mid on the bar on the 8th of August on low volume. So you're seeing ETH is going up on low volume and that means the whales are selling to the retail hands. Hence, you're getting a pullback and that will call the high for ETH at this mark at call it almost $1,785. That's US dollars. If we have a look at USDT, you can see we've been trading between a range anywhere between roughly 5.9% and 6.5%. You can really see the spreads start to move out a little bit. So you can see here, the spreads are quite quite uh, close together. And then in, since the 5th of August, the spreads have actually been widely apart. So you're seeing a massive spread on the 5th of August, spread on the 6th of August, tight spread on the 7th, large spread and looking like a large spread on the 9th of August. So we'll have to see where we go. Um, it's a bit tough with USDT because I don't actually have a volume bar beneath the, I think a, there's a bit of a delay happening there. But all you need to know is that USDT has some support coming in at that 5.9% which is where we just bounced off of. So we'll at least probably go anywhere as high as 6.45%, potentially going to the 50% at 6.6%. So not looking good for the alts. If we have a look at my uh, watch list here, you can see basically alts are bleeding, not heavily, they're all about you know three to 5% down, which isn't that bad for altcoins. But this is happening across the board. If I'm going to short, some of my favorite ones for now that look good at the time of this recording are Ape. Uh, Ape is one of my favorite ones to short because this thing is screaming like it's just exhausted. So if we have a look at the 3rd of August, went up on high volume, closed mid on the bar. So it's being exhausted, up bar, uh, almost an up bar again on the 4th of August, you know, touching the white line, just no one's buying this thing, right? Next day, tries to go up on the volume, it doesn't get there. Next day, down bar on low volume, which is good. Next day, next day down bar on low volume, which is good. Then you have an up bar and that might be your no demand bar, which means that we're probably gonna get lower prices. So this is probably the bar that's sticking out to me the most, saying that, okay, no one's selling this thing, but also no one's buying this thing. And if they're not buying, you will get a pullback. Remember guys, 
the ETH merge is getting people excited. I was looking at a uh, live, you know, just came up on my homepage the other day. One of the scammers that have like, you know, Val Val Valtelic, um live stream talking about ETH 2.0. And he had 150K live viewers, which is insane. I actually haven't seen that in ages. So uh, retail comes again based on the news. Um, and before the news even comes out or before the merge even happens, they've already sold onto them. Hence, you will be able to buy ETH at a much better price. And this is happening across the board with all altcoins. It's just being sold off to them. You're just seeing no demand coming from a whole bunch of altcoins that the whales are just not supporting this thing up anymore. Another one is Badger. Badger had a huge upthrust on the 29th of July. And you can see rejected at the 50 at around that $4.94. Time and time again, you can see upthrust. Rejected, 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 rejected. We might close today above it. We'll have to wait and see. It's one of the few altcoins that are up. We'll see how it plays out. But at the moment, it's having a tough time against this 50%. Another one is ICP. So very similar. You're seeing just not much demand coming to this thing to be able to be sold. 8th of August, you had an uptrust. So they tried to push the price up before coming back, getting down slammed. We're probably testing this 50 at $7.20. So we'll have to wait and see, guys, uh, how it plays out. For so far, looking bleak for altcoins. We have to wait and see to see what demand is coming. But just know that ETH merger is coming up. It doesn't mean ETH is getting to an all-time high or anything like that. It means retail is coming in and the smart whales will sell it to them. And they will see if the other whales continue to buy up that supply at a later time. Otherwise, the price will dip. Retail investors will sell at a low price. And then the, the, uh, the whales can buy at a cheaper price. That's basically just the game. And that can play out in the next uh, month or so. So uh, be vigilant out there. I will not be buying any more altcoins or Bitcoin or anything at the moment. I'm just very apprehensive around the ETH and Bitcoin charts, especially that ETH, cut, ETH, ETH chart. Showing that there's just whales are not buying any more ETH at this point. They've already bought all they wanted to buy. And they will start selling it from here on out. So maybe we get a bit of an increase in price, maybe a little bit here or there. But uh, if it does, it's going to be the, the the retail hands that are pushing up the price, which is not what you want. That's not going to be sustainable long term. So we'll have to wait and see. If you enjoyed the content, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Any feedback, leave in the comment section below. But until then, everyone, stay safe and I'll catch you on the next video.